this ordinance down and, and rewrite it. I thought we would let Michael take a stab at the ordinance for Jason to then present it to you and walk through the possible affairs committee. As the mission may not have had some discussion in regards to this matter, the problem we've had with the blight here, and I think you will agree, is that without consent power, in other words, the power to have Mr. Dukas to have make an order to appear that is enforceable, that we have to empower him through consent power. Otherwise, as Mr. Patino, I'm sure will agree, we have no ability to force someone to come to a meeting. And on the property that Mr. Cutter is in front of, I mean, there is now so many things, like I said, there's huge things. I mean, first we dealt with the bankruptcy. Then we dealt with an insurance company. Then we went to Tom Drug into litigation and a joiner action. So we, we try to do things to my way. Mr. Cutter is now out of his way to try to get this matter resolved. And he, he had an item on that to have a question as to what it would cost for demolition. That comes to the second part of what we need. Right well, now, currently, if we order something demolished, I understand that the, the Jake community, unlike I mean, like any other community, uh, is distressed for funds. But as it's quite as simple it is. Um, we collect uh, we collect fines, unfortunately not as many as we could if we had consent power, but we collect fines and uh, I, I was hoping that the council would establish a, a not reverting grade D fund that we can put the fines that they collect instead of going in the general fund and and when we get enough money in there to, to have one that was demolished, we had to demolish. I think this too, as the community knows and understands that it's just not just a demolish, a demolition order, but that we're going to follow through and demolish this, then we have, then it gives the people some incentive. But if it's something, if I don't bring this out to the compliance, then uh, I'm in danger of, of losing the structure. And, and also, we have the power to do that. And uh, without the consent power, it starts there. And without that, and Vicky will tell you, I mean, her and Vicky do a much job of it, bringing these photographs of them, bringing us to present the evidence. And, and a lot of times, Tom, for help in their obstetrics, it's a little bother to show up because, as Mr. Cutter says, many of them are festers that may live in Chicago, may live anywhere, and they have a little concern over which, how much money they're going to make off the property. And so their, their concern isn't isn't uh, for the town of Maryland necessarily, but rather the money in their pockets. I, I don't have any problem with somebody doing business. So I think it's just the American way. And, and, and but we have to provide them with due process uh, as, as they're guaranteed by the Sixth and Fifth Amendments and everything. But if the time is now and it's right for you guys to, to give Mr. Dekas the contract facility that he needs, now you could put it under uh, under the, the uh, empowered under the city court, where it, is, it goes directly to the city court, which, which actually saves someone, someone saves a staff, where I don't want to say Mr. Jones will become a rubber staff, but when he issues an order to appear, it's when he fails to appear, and it goes in front of her and she issues the warrant, okay, it gives the, the uh, um, town an extra layer of protection, because as you know, uh, judges enjoy enjoying insulation from civil service. I'm always worried about the fact that this town is sued. Okay, and, and I think that that is uh, a good way to do it. Uh, do you agree, Mr. Virginia? Yeah, I do. And it, I, I think that's the proper way to do it. And, uh, and, and the, the thing I'm trying to say is, is Mr. Chan, if you're the advocate, if, if you're the, uh, if you are the, the ordinance chairman, I'll be glad, and Mr. Virginia will be glad to help, to help you draft an ordinance or whatever is necessary to give him the powers that we have in peace with what we do. And uh, it's very frustrating to come to a meeting and, and not have and the only people that show up are the people that are the neighbors concerned about this property. And it's not just that property. It's not that we're just going to Mr. Pettis. I mean, there's just several other properties that we have the same problems with. And, uh, you know, it's not that we're not doing our job. It's not that we're not doing everything we can, but we're limited by what we can do without the authority. I would, uh, Michael, would two weeks down, I don't know, maybe if you want to have a committee meeting and, you know, before the next council meeting, I don't know, two weeks, or we are actually the next two weeks, don't we? Um, might give you time to get with, you know, chat something, so it's down. You guys collaborate and present it to the next committee. I don't know what you want to call a uh, meeting. Um, what I suggest is I'd like to see you uh, cooperate with our hearing officer. 
over and do this. I'm not going to draft what that you believe is appropriate to accomplish the goals that you uh, so capably outline. Forward that to me, and I have a list of that approved in time for the House Committee meeting. Okay, I would be glad to do that. And if there's anything else that you would like me to do out there, I just want to get Attorney Dukas's input because he knows the program better than me, and he knows what the uh, important remedies are available under the law. And uh, yeah, we can't put anybody in jail. We can't. Yeah, because it's a civil action, yes. Okay? And let's, well, first of all, have the ability to say you're in contempt. They won't go to jail. Let's make this clear. Mm-hmm. They won't go to jail for not putting up the property. Mm-hmm. If they go to jail, it'll be for contempt of court. Okay? Mm-hmm. Or not or whatever. Yeah, I mean, that's not going to agree. I mean, you gave me the question to you because it is. I mean, because it's, it's, it's just the things that those lines go on and on and on. I mean, we get a report every month that they're having a hearing, and it just seems like they're having another page to it. But I'm just putting people on the whole thing. You know, they just keep popping out over and over again. So, okay, we'll go look at Michael, if you'll get that with Mr. Deacons and give me a little input from Nikki during that, and we'll get that class committee and we'll go forward from there. We work very well as a team, so I hope that is the team as well. And uh, we just want to do what's right and good for the house. Okay. Thank you. 
a meeting with Indoc Chemical next week regarding potential of placement of a guardrail from 73rd to 75th and slash, and he will keep us informed. Uh, one other thing that I have, um, for the park cemetery uh, or easement that we have in there, I will be presenting something to you that's going to be in the near future of what we need to do for the ones that grant us the easement. So, um, it might be in exchange for some stormwater fees or whatever. So, um, we'll present the program to you guys and then you guys can decide and then we'll just move forward with it.
opportunities because the night out is one of the things that work that 